Hi, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what the cards predict for you for the next 48 hours or so. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, guys, let's give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming in for you. I feel like someone, I can't remember, some other sign had some very similar cards here, so there may be some sort of connection there here. I think it may have been the water energy. Um, okay, so Five of Cups here, you, you're feeling very let down here by someone, by a specific energy here, by a specific situation here, specific um, emotional experience. Five of Cups here, someone may have let you down here, someone might have really disappointed you here. The energies could be reversed here, vice versa, so take it as it resonates with you. But I feel like uh, there's something here that you're maybe unable to move on as well with the, uh, with the Five of Cups energy. So something someone said here or something someone's done here has caused a lot of emotional pain, right? And you can't seem to push past that. You can't seem to detach or disassociate from the situation because something he hasn't turned out the way that you wanted it to be it could also have um, have been a third party situation so maybe you yourself are involved in a third party situation here and um, it feels as though there's a lot of disappointment around that energy here so there is a need for you to move on from a situation but look maybe emotion you're not ready okay and if that's the case then you take your time because there's no time frame, there's no time stamp on that, right? Um, but what's worrying about this energy is, is is because if someone stays too focused on, you know, on their losses here, this person, on the these overturned cups, this person may miss the opportunities that might become available to them in the future. So, you know, whilst it's okay to feel this way, you just can't be stuck in this energy forever here. So the Five of Cups... You might still find yourself being stuck on a, on the in the past or being unable to let go here. You may find that within the next couple, like 48 hours or so, old wounds, old emotional wounds and just bitter, sad, disappointing memories might just flood your energy here. You might find yourself like thinking about over and over again about what has happened. And obviously what has happened has created a source of tension, a source of conflict and just a very sad, disappointing um, energy overall here. It's important for you to, if you do feel this way, um, you know, the Hermit's energy tells us that maybe it's important for you to distance yourself away from that person, their energy here, because we just don't want to, you know, flame the, the uh, fan the flames here on this kind of energy anymore. So, you know, someone here has disappointed you and it's going to be, if you can find it in your heart to forgive this person, it's going to be very um, healing for you to try and release yourself from that person and that disappointment as well so something he may feel may go pear-shaped for you 
Okay, they may, you might also experience a dispute, an altercation, a disagreement here with someone, or you could fi you could find that you're experiencing this energy internally. You might not know what you're thinking or feeling here, and you may find that you need to spend some time on your own here to really gather your thoughts and your feelings and just reflect on what has happened to you. Reflect on you know the role that you played in this connection, the role that this person has played in this connection, because the Four of Pentacles. It's come up in reverse here and it's a hoarding energy. So you're still holding on to you're still holding on to this person's energy or you know onto the emotional experience here. Onto you're holding on to the situation here. You you may I feel like some of you feel as though there's a lot that was riding on this. But it feels like you kind of need to loosen your grip on this person's energy or on this situation. I know you've invested, okay? I know you've invested a lot of yourself into this connection. And you've invested a lot of hope. And you've invested a lot of visions, a lot of your energy here. But it just feels like you might need to redefine where your values lie here. You might feel as though like a situation is slowly slipping through your fingers and slowly, you know, falling apart here. It feels like your outer world it does feel a little bit hectic. It does feel a little bit chaotic here. Something might come um, exposed. Something might come undone. Um, it just feels like there's something that's coming to the light, something that's coming to the surface here. But to me, it feels like your intuition and any intuitive associations that you get around a sp specific person in a specific situation is going to be the light that is going to guide you and get you out of this darkness here. Okay, so um, relying on your intuition. And I don't mean that you have to be careful not trying to manipulate your intuition, okay? Feel um, what your intuition is telling you, where it's guiding you, where it's leading you, and try not to manipulate it for it, for it to be something other than it's not, okay? Because that's not, that's not healthy here. So something feels, it feels like your energy is going to go into something very calming here with the hermit mode. Um, you might find that you might want to pull away from someone, not not talk to them. You might want to spend some time on your own just to reflect on things. Um, you may, you might feel as though you need some answers here to some of the questions that you seek, and you feel like as though no one here is giving you those answers. And if you feel this way, it's probably because the answers that you seek are within. You might already um, know, you know, some of the answers to the questions you have, but maybe you're just being you're willfully ignoring them because it's not something you want to face. So if you spend some time on your own, I feel like your intuition is definitely going to provide you some insight and some, you know, shed a light onto the situation here. So it feels like the Hermit Mode is the calm before the storm. And then I see you entering this period where it feels very turbulent, very chaotic, um, very uncertain, unpredictable. The Tower Moment could be just that sorry the tower it could be just that a tower moment um, something becomes exposed a lie a truth is revealed something comes to the surface here or it could be just you coming to a sudden realization having this epiphany this light bulb moment you know how they have it in the cartoon the light bulb flashes above their heads something it's like you're being awakened here from some sort of slumber here and maybe this is your cue to finally close the chapter on something and step into a new light and a new chapter here. So next 48 hours is going to be a lot. For, for a lot of you, it is happening externally. For some of you, it is happening internally. The Queen of Swords tells us that you have a lot of confusion here about a certain situation or around a certain energy and you need more clarity. What will bring some of that what will bring on some of that clarity is you pulling away, okay? Because sometimes when we surround ourselves with, you know, too many noises, too many outside influences or opinions, you know, everyone's got an opinion here and your own inner voice becomes drowned out by the outside noise, by everyone's own input, you know, everyone's own two cents, everyone's own opi opinions. And your inner voice starts drowning out and becomes you know, silenced in the process. This is why it's important to have that you time to spend some time on your own so you can listen to that inner voice because sometimes it doesn't always shout or scream at you, right? Sometimes it kind of faintly whispers. So um, 
a lot of yeah a lot of insight and clarity will come from that spending some time on your own um, even more clarity will come from having a conversation that you've been avoiding so some of you need to call someone out some of you need to initiate conversation with someone because it's going to give you the answers that you seek now for some of you let me tell you this you're going to hit you're going to send a message or communication off to someone you're not going to receive a response but just like the quote goes no response is a response and in fact it's a powerful one at that and that might be all you need uh, in order for you to make your next move make your next decision here for some of you you need to cut ties you need to release yourself from a certain energy or from a certain situation here so yeah look I feel like it's going to be an interesting next 48 hours but you know with the uh, with the tower card just remember that there is divine intervention even in moments of pure chaos destruction and you know confusion the divine has intervened here so whatever happens even though it might feel painful hurtful and uncomfortable here okay this whole experience you know lies coming to the surface truths being expo exposed um, you suddenly seeing a situation for what it is not for what you always wanted it to be here I know it's not very pleasant there's a lot of mistruths and a lot of confusions and uncertainties and um, a lot going on here a lot of chaos but I feel like in the process there is divine intervention and it's happening for your greater good alrighty guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing if you're after a personal reading with myself feel free to connect otherwise guys bye for now